When Elizabeth of England is dead, therefore Nigeria is dead. When Elizabeth, Fulani, Yamutu, Nigeria, Yamutu, divide Nigeria. Let everybody have peace. Let us go home in peace. Let us separate in peace. Divide Nigeria. Stop patching all this thing. You are patching it and it's leaking and you are keep on patching, patching, patching. No, it doesn't work anymore. Because I know now, very soon now, they are going to appoint another Queen Elizabeth III or fourth. So shall you see African leaders. They will queue up again and start worshipping the third or fourth Queen Elizabeth. African leaders, hear me now. This is time for freedom. There's no more slavery. Queen Elizabeth is dead. Slavery, slavery, finito. Let us have a little a little peace. She's a great woman. Let her soul rest in perfect peace. Yes. Because if your father or your mother can reason like a can reason or behave like a Queen Elizabeth, I don't think we will be having problem in Africa. They are united. Queen Elizabeth is united with their people. And that is why they can come to Africa and they explore everything there and grab anything that all they want. Because most of us, we are stupid. Can you be wise like Queen Elizabeth? You can't. But meanwhile, I'm using this opportunity to beg the government of uh, uh, England or British government let them return all the gold and diamond that Queen Elizabeth took from Africa. I don't want to call it uh, st steel because it might, you can call it um, her speech. This, uh, the, she took a lot of uh, gold and diamond from Africa. You guys should return it back. African people need it. They are hungry. When you return all the gold and diamond, it will boost in their economy. Okay? Please. If you can do that favor, if truly you are practicing a democracy, return those diamond and gold that Queen Elizabeth is to, um, not stole, took from Africa, please. It's very important. And meanwhile, you Nigerian youths, every, every, all of you now are just shouting, PVC, PVC, PVC. Not that I'm against PVC, but we are not going to get anything. At the end of the day, they're going to flop you down. They will rig election. Not only rigging election, after rigging election, they will jail all of you. You know Nigeria. Nigeria stands, represents evil. Nigeria, it represents evil. Many of you shouting PVC. Have you cooled down to verify or find out what is happening between INEC workers? We are getting information that all the INEC workers, those from Southern, Igbo people, the Niger Delta, Bini people, even some Yoruba people, they are just transferring all of them. Then they chase many, they come out. They are chasing so many people away from their work. When you, are, when you have a big po uh, uh, position in INEC office in Abuja, they will transfer you inside one village. That is what they are doing now. Go and verify. I know my one of my own person. They don't transfer. They transfer him inside one village. They are getting prepared, preparing everything. But some of you don't even know. You are just there shouting, obedient, obedient, obedient. We shall see, <laughs> because I know Nigeria very well. I'm almost fifty years old. If I tell you that I didn't learn anything from Nigeria, it means I'm stupid. I know Nigeria. I know what they can do. They will frustrate all of you including you and the P2B, and nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Can you stand, can you stand one month protest, just like uh, uh, Hong Kong? Can you? You know the feet now. Hong Kong stand protest for three months every day, everywhere filled up. When I go feed one, where you go, only, uh, only uh, answers, two days or three days. They just bring some hoodlums. They begin burn something, destroy things. Now they say they, they, they target IPOB movement. All of you run inside the house. <laughs> Meanwhile, use this opportunity. Beg your leaders in Nigeria and Africa. 
When Elizabeth is dead, slavery is dead. Nigeria is dead. Divide Nigeria. Forget this, you're obedient to obedient. Divide Nigeria and they have peace once and for all. Peter Obi can be president for eight years. After eight years, from top to bottom again, bet me. Bet me. If they go give him more, I know say they no go give him. But if they eventually give to him as a president, eight years he will go. And the, 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 the monster themselves will return back again. <laughs> from top to bottom again. That time you don't owe. You no go get any strength again. And your children, then go squeeze them. They won't.